Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. Today we are talking about the latest, most recent beta of iOS 13. And it is not 13.4.5 beta 3, as many of you likely were expecting. It is actually 13.5. That's right, Apple is changing up the numbering process here for a very big reason. And there are a couple big changes we want to talk about. So in this video, we're going to give you a quick rundown of why they changed the name to 13.5 instead of 13.4.5, as they had been doing for the first two betas. And then what are the two at least biggest changes they are going to see and expect inside of this update. So let's go ahead and spin things up and jump right into it. So first thing first, why the name change? Well, so Apple had been progressing as this has been a fairly minor software update. So 13.4.5 for beta one and beta two. We were expecting beta three and Apple changed to 13.5. The reason it changed to 13.5 is because Apple included a new SDK. Anytime a new SDK is included or added to iOS, it has to be one of those major point updates. So 13.4, 13.5, 13.3, anything like that would count as that major point update where they can include an SDK. Doing it as a 13.4.5 update just would not pass muster. So they just can't do that. Um, the way their versioning process works, it's a little bit opaque as far as externally is concerned, but internally they cannot include an SDK on just a really small update, like a point point update. So that is why in the middle of the beta process, Apple has relabeled this update 13.5 rather than 13.4.5. Now, what is that new SDK? Well, this is the first beta or the first version of iOS that is including Apple's COVID-19 Bluetooth tracking API. So there's a lot more on this. We're not going to delve into how it works, why it works, if it's good, bad, anything like that. We're literally just going to be talking about the API itself. So this is Apple's first version of that. Android is getting a similar release from Google. But essentially, uh, if you haven't heard of what this tracking is doing, it's very secure and privacy focused, but it's using Bluetooth to monitor who you're coming in contact with and comparing those anonymous numbers with a database of people who are reportedly infected with the COVID-19 virus. And then if you happen to come in contact with those persons, it's going to let you know you're going to get a notification saying that you were in contact with one of those people. It doesn't tell you who it was or anything like that, but just gives you a heads up. You may want to get tested or watch out for those symptoms. So that's kind of the basis, the idea of Apple and Google's uh, Bluetooth tracking API for COVID-19. And the first version of that is here in this 13.5 beta. It's part of an SDK. There's a new version of Xcode coming as well with it for developers that are able to take advantage of that API and building their apps, uh, healthcare services and others that are using that API going forward. So that is a big change here in this beta, but there are two other things that I want to point out here. First is relating to that new tracking API. You can disable it from within settings. It's really easy to do. Just go into your settings, go into privacy, go down to health, and there you'll see this COVID-19 exposure notification option. You can go ahead and toggle that off if you do not want to take advantage of that. Now, obviously I encourage a lot of people to take advantage of it because it should be a very good thing, but if you don't want to do it, no problem at all, just disable it. Now, right now it is kind of opt out rather than opt in. It's on by default, so you have to toggle it off, but it doesn't do anything on its own. You still need an app accompanying it to take advantage of it, to use it in any way. So it kind of still is opt in because you need some sort of you know app in front end to do anything with it but right now first spot we're seeing it in the os the second area we want to talk about is on the lock screen so face id devices a lot of people are probably experiencing this right now you're trying to unlock your device while wearing a mask and it just does not work uh it you know fails out because it doesn't recognize you so you have to try it a few different times and when you eventually get through then you can go ahead and put your passcode in. So it has to fail a couple times before it gives you the passcode option. It's really slow and obnoxious if you're trying to pay for something using Apple Pay and just keeps you know stopping because your mask is obnoxious. But thankfully in the 13.5 update, Apple has made a change. So when using Face ID, if you are wearing a mask, it sees you're wearing a mask, it'll automatically bypass Face ID and give you that passcode option. So it's really quick and really easy. Go ahead and try it out throw your mask on, jump in there, you'll see it'll fail right away, give you the passcode option, type that in your into your phone. So that is it, the 13.5 update, right now it's in beta, this is technically the beta three throughout the process, should be launching very soon within 
weeks is probably most likely. I want to hear what you guys think about the new tracking API that's included, the new toggle switch inside of settings, and of course, bypassing that lock screen when you're wearing a mask and being able to enter your passcode instead of relying on face ID and waiting for it to fail. Let me know down below in the comments, or better yet, let me know on Twitter. And if you find any other changes you want me to mention, we'll include in the accompanying article on appleinsider.com, giving you credit for it. Let me know as well on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.